Hi guys, welcome to Tech Trick Tutorial. Today we're going to teach you how to use Descript, one step solution for creators. It's a step by step guide to follow easily, and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Let's dive right in. Now, if you don't know, Descript is uh, editing software wherein you could edit videos and podcasts or any type of videos that you have in a new way. Now over here in Descript.com, if ever you would like to know more information about Descript, you can simply visit their website over here and read through the different published information over here, like the different features and different resources that they have over here. Now to be able to use Descript and its different features, you're going to have to download the software. To be able to download the software, you're simply going to click on sign up over here or sign in if you already have an account and it will automatically download the installer for you. After you download the installer, you will be able to use this script and this is what it's going to look like. I'm going to give you a quick tour of what this is. Now, this is like a drive view. If you're familiar with Google Drive, it will be very similar to that. You have your recent projects over here. Basically, the projects that you have worked on before. Right now, we're currently at my drive. And you could add team members into your drive so that you will have more people working on different projects that you have. You can also create new drive over here and have a fresh drive for you to start with and you also have your quick recordings over here if ever you would like to have a quick recordings and it will be accessible easily over here you could check out the shared with you or shared with me you have your downloaded over here basically this is very similar to the projects it's basically downloading your project and you also have your voices over here if ever you would like to use the overdub version or the overdub feature where you can use your own voice as the voice for text-to-speech if ever you're interested in that and there's also templates over here that would help you build your videos and private workspace over here now for the voices the main features of this script are editing in transcript using text-to-speech and it's very unique way of editing videos if ever you would like to use your own voice in overdub or basically the feature is called overdub and you will be able to use your own voice for text-to-speech wherein an AI will scan your voice and you will be able to use that voice over here. You can click on create new voice, click on confirm after you edit your name and over here you will see like the instructions on how you will be able to effectively create your overdub voice. And let's wait for it to load over here. There will be a step-by-step -step. and as you can see, the first step is to add recordings of your speech. You would need to upload at least 10 minutes but they recommend 30 minutes so that we have as much data as possible for your voice and you could also submit your voice ID over here which would allow you to filter out any audio from your recording that doesn't match your voice and this is very useful for videos that you create that requires you to have a voiceover on your different videos and going back to projects that is how you could use the over the feature of the script and going back to recent projects over here, you could add or create new projects by simply clicking on new projects over here, just like that. And as you can see, we're creating a new project. You could either choose a file to just transcribe, start recording right away, or start writing. The start writing is a feature for the text to speech, so that is what this is used for. Or start with a template over here. You could also see that we have a seven minute of transcription remaining. Originally, this is 60 minutes, but I used a lot of it, so. You would need to be careful with how you use your transcription minutes because after you run out it will take at least a month before your transcription would refresh and so that you will be able to use it again there's also different plans later on which i will see you show to you and aside from these options over here there's also other things that you could do you could click on the plus button over here you could upload the file into script which is basically the transcription upload the file without that script scene marker speaker label comment inline note recording text caption rectangle eclipse waveform progress bar and arrow over here you can also add more things over here on the top you have the same options like line and progress bar you have text title subtitle text caption over here you have your recording and media over here if ever you would like to upload some media now i'm going to show you what it would look like when you already created a transcription or use the file to transcription option and as you can see this is our file this is a file that I have used it's 9 
minutes and 44 seconds over here. And it's going to provide you with a transcription of all the words that you have said in the video over here, as you can see. And the way you use this is this is how you can edit videos in this script. So, for example, over here, it says how to use Google Calendar. Let's play it. How to use Google Calendar in today's guide. As you can see, I could remove words from this section over here. For example, I would like to remove Google. I could simply click on Backspace and I will remove that specific word directly. And when I play it again, how to use Calendar and it's going to cut that specific clip. That is how you edit in the script. It is not the traditional editing software where you're going to line up your line and then cut it from that point and then delete the specific section that you don't like. And in the script, you will be able to able you will be able to cut your clip more accurately because you're targeting the words directly and you can easily remove them by simply deleting the word that you don't like to hear. You can also detect like the words that you said like um or ah, uh, and you will be able to easily remove those as well. Now you can integrate and use the different features together, like the caption. To be able to use the caption, you're going to have to highlight a specific section that you would like to caption and click on this, then click on caption, and it will create a caption for that specific sentence that you have selected. And as you can see here, and you could edit the style over here. Right now, it's a bit uh, dark, so let's see. Let's make it darker, just like that. And let's see if we will be able to see it. Let's play it from the start. Like that. Could add a guess. I could add like, a and as you can see, there will be a subtitle or like a caption appearing over here below. And there's also different property settings that you could edit over here on the right side, like the script, audio, audio effects, opacity, layouts, effects, green screen, and animation over here. Now, you could also see the product components over here or compositions. You could combine them or add new compositions over here. You could also see the processing over here, like the syncing of your projects. And you could also add different members to work on a specific project as well by clicking this option over here. Now, after editing your video, after doing what you need to do, you simply click on publish over here, wherein you will be able to publish your video and download it. And you know, basically similar to the other editing software, you will be able to export your video for you to upload in YouTube or anywhere you would like to upload the video that you have just created. And if ever you do want to create another project, you simply go back to the home page over here once again, and then you can simply click on projects. And now let's see the different plans available for this script. We could go and click on that, then compare plans, and then we will be redirected to this page where we will be able to see the different plans available in the script. We have your monthly over here. The first one is free, wherein we will get one hour per month for transcription hours that's why i said earlier that you will be able to only have one hour you also have one month or one video that has no watermark per month you could up you could export it to 720p you could remove the um and ah uh. there's a 1000 word vocabulary limit for overdubs on the ai green screen it is only up to 10 minutes per file studio sounds 10 minutes per file and stock library first five results per search over here now the creator plan is $15 and the pro plan is $30 and for the enterprise you're going to have to contact them for more information so that you could optimize how much you will be working on. There's also 20% for annual billing over here as you can see if you would like to have an annual billing instead. And you could edit the editors over here, seats, the key features, you can see them all over here. And that's it guys, that's how you can use this script for beginners or as a one stop for all creators. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.